this is MJ. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this quick and easy ribbed twist headband. The yarn that I'm using is Ella Prima Super Bulky Weight 100% Merino Yarn. This is from We Crochet and I'll have a link in the description box on where you can purchase it. There's so many fun and bright colors to choose from. You'll need a nine millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle for super bulky yarn. This is my Streamline Taurus hook from Furls Crochet. And there will be a link in the description box with a coupon code. This yarn comes in hank, so you will need to use a ball winder to put it into a cake or roll it up into a ball before working with it. I will have a link in the description box on a video I have if you've never done that before. You just want to make sure you follow those, those instructions so you don't get tangled up. And if you have the ball winder, it's great because you can have a nice center pull to work from. So I'll be showing you an adult size headband. So this will fit roughly a 21 to 22 and a half inch head size. So let's begin with a slip knot. I'll put that on the hook and I'm going to chain out a total of 38. And just make sure those chains aren't too tight. Okay, so now what we're going to do is work in the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. Turn your work to the side so you can see these back bumps of the chain. So one, two, three. There is the third bump. We'll yarn over and work a double crochet into the bump. This will keep the nice edge of your work. So what we'll do now is just work double crochets in the back bump of each chain. Okay, so you just find them here. So don't work into the back loop of the chain, work into the back bump. And you'll end up with 36 double crochet stitches across. And once you've worked across, you can wrap that around your head just to make sure the sizing is right. So if you needed to reduce even by one stitch, because this yarn is so bulky, you could reduce your band by a stitch or add a stitch or a couple stitches to modify the size of this. But this will fit your average child to adult size head. Okay, so I'm gonna continue working that across. I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, so I've worked across 36 stitches. Just gonna give it a stretch to smooth out those stitches. Now I'm going to chain one and turn, and we're gonna work linked slip stitches across. If you've watched some of my other videos, I've done a blanket in this stitch. I've crocheted my pumpkin pillow and some of my pumpkins in this stitch. It's a really fun, unique rib stitch. But if you're brand new to it, I'm gonna work this through nice and slow on how to do it. So we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch. So this ribbing is worked on the wrong side. So this is now the wrong side of our work. Now we'll do a linked slip stitch. So we'll go through the same stitch that we worked the single crochet, pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, and with that loop, we're going to pull through the two loops on our hook. So we're linking it by going through the same stitch. So we'll go through, pulling up a loop, go through the next stitch, and we're pulling the loop, but we're pulling it right through the two loops on the hook to make the slip stitch. So pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pulling it through the two loops on the hook. And once you get used to it, you can work it fairly quickly. You don't want it to pull too tight. I like to try to keep it nice and loose. 
one thing so it's easier to pull through. And with this big hook and yarn, it is really easy to work this stitch. Okay, so then it's gonna pop up this ribbing on this side. So this will be the right side of our work. This is the wrong side. So whenever we're on the wrong side, we'll be working the link slip stitch. So I'm gonna continue that across. I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, so I'm coming up to my last stitch. So in the very last stitch, we're just going to work a single crochet and then turn. Now it's a good idea to keep track of your stitches to make sure that you haven't lost one. So I'm just gonna count mine across. Okay, so I've double checked that I do have 36. Now we're to the right side of our work. We're going to work double crochets again, but this time we're doing them in the back loop. So don't get confused. What you wanna make sure is just turn your work right to the side so you can see this stitch right here. We're gonna work a stacked double crochet in the first. So we're gonna go through the back loop only, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two to make a single crochet. Then see these loops right here, we're going to stab right through them. And we're going to make another single crochet. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. So this is a stacked double crochet, you're basically stacking a single crochet on top of each other. And then it's just going to make a nicer edge rather than chaining at the beginning. Now we're going to continue in double crochets through the back loops only. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we'll work these double crochets in the back loop so this counts as our first stitch. It's always a good idea to keep track of your stitches just to make sure you stay on track. And now that we've worked, you wanna give it a tug, but definitely if you're making this for yourself, make sure that this fits. If you're using a different yarn that may not be, this is a very, very thick and bulky, super bulky weight number six. So if you're working with a different yarn, you may need to chain more to get your, your headband to fit. So just make sure to test that out before you go through all of the work of making it. Make sure that it's gonna fit around your head. Now this yarn is beautiful. It's a soft, 100% merino. It's a little bit of a splurge, but because you only need one ball, it's not so bad. So if you wanted to make these for gifts or to sell at markets, it's a nice that you only have to purchase one ball to make the headband. So I'm gonna continue that across. And you can see now you're starting to see that nice ribbed stitch. Okay, so once you get all the way across, going to chain one and turn. And we're gonna start into the linked slip stitch pattern again. We'll single crochet in the first. So always remember you're working a single crochet in the first stitch and the last stitch. Now that we've worked the first stitch, we'll start that linked slip stitch. And we'll repeat this all the way across, ending with a single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end. Okay, so this is my last stitch and I'll work a single crochet. and turn. So we're going to work a double crochet row again. So we'll start off with that stacked double crochet. So we're going through the back loop only, work a single crochet, 
and then just stab right through those two loops to make the next single and then work double crochets in the back loop. Now, you always wanna end on a double crochet row. We started with the double crochet, we're gonna end. So at this point, depending on how wide you would like your headband, you could finish off with this row. And if you're making it for a child, I would suggest that you would stop here. So one, two, three, four, five. So stop at five rows. Or you can go a little bit wider, like I've done with this one, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Now, if you need to make the headband larger than what I've made, you may run out if you're adding more stitches. So you may wanna leave that. This for an adult is still a decent width. Like this would still cover your ears and it would be okay. So that would be fine if you want to stick with your one ball and you need to make it a little bit larger. But I'm going to keep going and work a total of seven rows and then I'm going to meet you up to show you how we're going to seam it up together. Okay, so I finished my seventh row. I still have a little bit left, but not much. But if your gauge is slightly off, you should still be okay to complete this with one ball. I'm gonna measure it for you. Now you may wanna give it a little bit of a tug because it does tend to want to not always go completely even without a little tugging. Okay, so it is about, depending, down here it's about 19. Here it's about 18 and a half about 18 and a half right here. So 18 and a half to 19 inches. Remember, this is gonna stretch when it goes over your head. Now what I'm gonna do is fasten off with a tail for sewing. So I'm going to pull that through. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just fold in the headband and we're going to basically take each end, folding each end in half, and then we're going to sandwich them together. So we're just putting this one inside, this one over top, Okay, and then we're going to sew one, two, three, four sections here together. So going through Okay, so you're just sewing that along making sure you're going through all four sections. My tail is getting caught up in that. Now I'm just gonna make sure that it's looking good on this side before I weave those tails in. See the nice twisted look. Okay, everything's looking good. So I'm gonna go back to this side and just weave in my tail. Okay, so here is the finished headband. This color is Night Horizon. If you're wondering the colors that I use, this one is Ocean Spray and the other color is Kaleidoscope. So those are the colors that I've used. This worked up so quick and fast. This would make a perfect last minute gift if you need a gift idea for someone, a secret Santa or whatever, this would be the perfect gift to throw in. And I probably was able to whip that up in less than 30 minutes.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.